people, welcome to Anyango Brand Show. Today we have an open discussion about um, do you think a man should be forced by court to raise a kid that is not biologically his? Stay with us, um, stay tuned. I am Anyango Brandy, your host. Let's start from, from the left. From the left. <clears throat> well, thank you very much for inviting me to this. I'm Alpha Sichiego Wino, a student here. Yeah. Um, I bring to the table a brain and a mindset of an activist, an upcoming activist. I bring to the table the brain and mindset of a sprouting author and a writer in totality. I bring to the table um, a fatherless child, or a childless father, sorry. I bring to the table a childless father. Thank you. Good. My name is Adonija Mango. I'm also a student here. And uh, a student where? Here in Masena University. Just it? <laughs> okay. Masena University. Mm -hmm. Good. Yes. Okay. I'm really humbled to be here. Thanks for the opportunity. My name is <coughs> Masi Situma, student at Masena University, taking marketing management. Uh, hello, I am uh, Njura Aive, and I'm really happy to be here today. I really am looking forward to this discussion. Yeah. Okay, like I said before, it's an open discussion, meaning we are going to have this as a discussion. Um, do you think it's in order to force a man to raise kids that is not his biologically? Maybe if we start from Elfa's side. Elfa's, do you think it's in order? Well, it is in order for the court to have gone to uh, that uh, uh, step of uh, forcing the man to take care of the children. It is in order. It is fair. Mm -hmm. Supporting yes. <coughs> maybe. Uh, you know, here the man will be called a parent, and in this case, is a male parent uh, and a father. But who is a father? You remember, we have laws. I imagine the world without loss. So there is that law that uh, quotes that uh, a father is a male person or a male partner in a marriage um, who accepts to be the father of a child, even if that child, uh, well, in the conception of that child, if their sperms were not used in the conception. So he takes consent uh, in advance, even if. Uh, their sperms are not used. He becomes the father to that child, naturally. Yes. Yes, Adonija. Okay, I don't believe it is right for the court, regardless. Of course, we have rules. We have rules and regulations that inform the, informs the decision of the court. But I believe if that person, that particular man, is not the father to that child, you cannot force him. On which grounds are you forcing that man to take responsibility? On which grounds? Because this is a question that we need to ask ourselves because these are things that are outside there. This is a discussion that we are supposed to be having and I am grateful we are having this discussion. Though I believe it has come late, but it's a discussion we needed to have. So yes, I don't think it's right for somebody to force any man on this planet to, to, to look after a child that's it's not theirs. Yes, Masi, do you agree or do you disagree? I think it's very unfair for one to be forced to raise a kid who is not his. Uh, one, they're not related by blood. And uh, them being not related by blood, a man can uh, do it willingly without, without being forced. It takes <coughs> kindness, it takes compassion, it takes love for one to decide to take care of a kid who's not his. Let's draw back to the Constitution, the Bills of Rights, Chapter 4. So, Chapter 4, Article 53e says that every child has a right to parental care and freedom with equal responsibilities from both the mother and the father to provide child support whether or not they're not married. So here, in this case, it's the legal, the biological parents who take care of the kids, or rather the legal parents which t assumes the 
legal rights of a child like the biological father so it's really unfair for one to be forced mm -hmm. Ivy, do you agree or do you disagree? Um, so since this is an open discussion, mm -hmm. if I say yes or no, I might try myself, you know, <coughs> because looking at it from his perspective, his perspective, her perspective, they all make sense, you know, sure. but if I was to take a side, then I'd say the judge was not really unfair, you know, because if I'm thinking about this kid, one, I will want to protect their mental health, I will want to protect their growth, you know, because parenting is also something that influences a whole lot on the child, you know. So, you've raised me for, say, 15 years. Then, out of nowhere, you and my mom are disagreeing and you can't even work it together. You're the only father I have known since I was born, you know. To me, if you take this away from me, no matter who you are, then you're literally disorienting my whole life, you know. If we say it's also fair because the kid was not biologically this father then now we are forcing him to we're not even forcing him to do anything here you know because if he didn't want to take care of that kid there would be an appeal right now of which i have not seen in that background story you know <coughs> so this person went to court suing the mother or whatever their case was and the judge decides hey you need to keep taking care of those kids you've been raising you know so i don't see any unfairness in that because you t you pull that out of that kid's life what makes you think tomorrow they will parent a kid in a better way? You know, we are trying to make a society where we are breaking these cultural and generational bounds and uh, curses and stuff like that, you know. So if a judge does not look at the future of the kid, because let's just be honest. Remember, this is a kid that you personally agreed to take care, to of. Take care to parent. You even went a step ahead to yeah, give sure. them your son in, you exactly. know. So it's like, let's tell this kid now, this was not your dad since you were born, now we are separating, he will not be part of your life, he's not <coughs> going to take care of you anymore. What are you doing for that child? Mentally broken down. Yes, and even a future parent that's going to be very needy. You know, we, we talk of daddy issues and assume they just come from an absent father, no? Pull a father out of the kid's life at that point. I don't know how long they've been together because that is something that should have been mentioned, but the fact that they've been with this kid since he was born, it's not unfair. If he didn't want this kid, he would have parted with the mother from the day they met. You know, you're pregnant, you know, I don't want a mother, I don't want a woman that has another man's kid. So let me just go find another woman that I will raise my own kids with. But he agreed to it. So what makes you think that 10, 3 years <coughs> later, or maybe 15, 10 years later, you will come out and decide, oh, let me pull out now. I don't want to be here. Let's say 60%, no bias. Yeah. Sure. In the bring up of a kid, right? Fathers, they are, very, they are fathers that are very involved in the kids' lives, you know. And they are fathers that are married to their careers, their jobs, and just providing for the family, right? If this person not thought of my life today, kid you not, I wouldn't even mind. Fine, I will miss your presence at some point, but you're married to your job, right? The, re the reason why we're not get getting to a very good conclusion with this case is, one, we don't know how long these people had been together. Then we don't know how involved the father was in the kid's life to the extent that the judge decided, hey bro, you just can't teach that kid no matter how unbiological they are to you. Are we, no. are we, are we agreeing that these people were married? Yeah, sure, because they yeah. had a baby. Well, they After were married. After that, yeah. yes. Going by uh, our daily understanding out. of what a marriage is, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, a group of partners, right? And uh, these people will come together and agree to provide uh, resources um, and bring them together and use all this to, uh, in the upbringing of their children. Irrespective of, uh, we have, you know, a child that is not uh, mine, that is a man speaking, this father has actually to bring in what comes from his side to the table so that they pull this together as a family, right? Yeah. So he remains the father, senior. Yeah. You get it. Absolutely. So you drink from my pot. I'm trying to drink from the pot, <laughs> but there's, 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 there's this bitter part that uh, mm -hmm. I'm finding it harder to swallow. Mm -hmm. So this Can man... you father a kid that is not biologically yours? That is my question. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, let's say now kid. you get a, a lady with a baby. Yeah. Can you willingly father that kid? No, let me get that lady first. 
Hello, yeah. would you uh, want us to, I mean, call in for your support for that other child? What do you do? My child. Mm-hmm. That child, use my words please, that other child. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do, Celia? But that is my blood, my uh, an extension of my DNA, so it is my responsibility yeah. to provide. Were you providing for the other one you found? Which ones? The one, the one, the other, the other woman is going to find me. She decided now this is you know, the woman mm-hmm. of my life. I don't know why this guy is literally being posed. Yeah. When there's a biological father in this case. In fact, I don't know why, why they're not man? tracing down this biological Maybe. father thank and you, be sued you. for child the so, only one in, fact, in the in fact, picture. We're, we're, no, we're, we're no, trying no, to punish. Have, we're trying to punish. The mother knows. We're trying to punish a man because of being kind. Or they don't. Here. Or they don't. The mother knows whether the guy is dead or alive. Or he is alive. Let them track this guy down and uh, be sued you know, for child neglect. We are giving you the roof it by is. abandoning the foundation. But if I, we, I understand if, that. I do understand that. But this guy did it out of goodwill. Uh-huh. And uh, him stepping down is because like he did not want to maybe continue with that need because they fall, fell out of love and stuff. Yes, yes, yes. So it's just right for him to like, just walk out of that. So let the court now sue, let the mother sue the biological father of the kid. Because it's not really right for that. For, for that if you are going happen. to understand the meaning of a father, then you are going to agree, please. We, we, we are trying I, to. I, we are, I, this, no. is, this is another case of punishing a man who is yeah. being kind. We are punishing a man who is being kind. Oh, okay, wait, I asked you a question, question that you didn't even answer <laughs> in the first place. No, your question <laughs> is very volatile. You want to no, use no, that no, question no. to to tie a rope around my neck. Can you? Can you? Assuming that you had a lady who is having a kid that is not biologically yours, but can you father this baby? Can you fa- parent? Let me use the term parent. Can you parent this baby? But who is the biological father to that? Answer no, the just answer marrying this the question. Father, Don't go father. Yeah. I'm yeah. marrying the mother. Wait, will you now parent I'm this the kid mother. as the father? Now? The father has to come yeah. in the picture. We can't, we can't ignore the what fact that there's a biological there. father in here. That's no, why no. I say it's either yeah. he are alive or dead. Yeah. And if he's alive, then he, sh- he should be sued, not yeah. this no, other guy. Let me ask you a question because you're so much in uh, oh, legal to do this. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, excuse me. Can you? I'm still back to you. No, that is anyway. A, that is that's something that a lot of discussion will go. It will go oh, under. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's not. That is what you want. That is what we want. Are you yourself on that table? Yeah. Taking that discussion for months and months before this baby is born and you decide. Well, yeah, I will be able to do this, and this kid is not a disposable responsibility. You know, no, kids are this, not disposable. This, listen, this, this kid, this kid point. came came into this man's life on the account of the, the mother. mother yeah. So the, the, yeah. the connection, yeah. the connection, you know, listen, yeah. the connection, the connection, woman. the connection between this man and the child was that mother. So once yeah. you cut that bridge, Hi, you there is no connection. Is there is no connection. When you marry someone, case. do you take them and their family as part of your family? Yeah, yeah, yeah so, she came from yeah, somewhere. Right. She came yeah. from somewhere. She came from somewhere. Yeah. So you decided there's dowry payment. So yeah, no, yeah, yeah. There's yeah, all sure. these uh, whatever's with the loan. Yes. Absolutely. That's a responsibility. Mm-hmm. You know you have a responsibility to them because you're with that person. Yeah. Right. Yeah. If you marry Spencer today, if yeah. anything happens to Spencer, you know who is called at the hospital? Of course. The husband. Yeah. You know, if Spencer had a kid and you've been raising this kid and you, they are taken to the hospital, and they ask for the father. You know who will be called? You, who has been taking care of this kid now. Yeah. Let's go to the question I need to ask you. You've been married to a man mm-hmm. for, let's say, 10, 7 years ago, and you have, like, two kids in summer. Then a faithful night comes, and you get raped, and you get pregnant, and you decide, eh, I can't lose this marriage. You know? Mm-hmm. What's the best thing to do? To tell your husband, eh, I was raped and got a kid out of it, or... 
go sleep with your husband around the same time <laughs> and make sure they are going to get these kids as theirs. That is a very diff- difficult question. Very difficult question. <laughs> but, <laughs> but, she might, right. she might answer. <laughs> you know, she okay. might answer. If, if, yeah, I will. I will. <laughs> you know, I, I love her brain because she's legally mm. thinking. You know? <laughs> yeah. So, you go in and raise this kid until they're 16 with the man, and then 16 years later, the man realizes mm, even the features don't match. Bro. <laughs> This character has never been anywhere in my ancestry, and they decide to take a DNA test. Yes. So we are trying to establish who is the father. The oh, she's not. Mm-hmm. Are you done? Not yet. Allow her. Then, <laughs> this man decides to walk out of your life. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This kid has. This man has been everything for this kid, as far as a father is concerned, as far as a male figure parent is concerned. Okay. Okay. You as a mother did what was best for the kid. Mm-hmm. You know. And you could have opted to do other ways either way, but that is what you chose. So do you tell me, after 16 years of raising a kid that you supposedly thought was yours, this one is not even mm-hmm. confused, until now it's a kid coming in and you already know. You know, mm-hmm. this one is something that you knew was yours and no, 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 no. We took care of the kid and you decide, let me follow with this mother. And now when you are sued for child support, you decide, let's have the NHS for every kid. You know? Yeah. And then boom, oh God, the last one wasn't. You're going to abandon that kid because they were not yours. But this kid didn't come to this world as a result of promiscuity or anything. They are a very innocent kid who doesn't deserve anyone regardless. Oh, let me answer Distra- that. Distracting their whole life because of a mistake that was made by two sound-minded people. But why should, why should a man pay for that. for sis that are not let his? Let her answer your let question. Answer okay. first, and then I'll answer you. This lady is raped and decides to maybe play law or rather. Hmm? One thing is, eh, you can never, you can, uh, you can never hide the truth. Two should mm-hmm. always set you free. Mm-hmm. Then, uh, if this man decides to do a DNA, then guess uh, the kid is not okay. free. Mm-hmm. I think it's also okay for him not to like. It's just his personal decision to know whether he'll take care of the kid or not, mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. the truth was hidden from him. Mm-hmm. So yeah, if maybe, you're agreed to get angry. Right. Yeah. And pull out from that. So it. But is it logical? It is yeah. The whole the the, the, yeah, the, 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 the whole provision the thing was built on a lie. It was built on a lie. And you can never yeah. lie forever. Thank it you. You have thing. acknowledged this was built on a lie. Yeah. Now there's this one mm-hmm. that was clearly stated from the start. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And you agreed. I do not care how you agreed, whether it was during sex or whether it was during <laughs> illegal sitting, <laughs> whether you were having shambas being sold. You know. You agreed. Okay. In so, full knowledge. Agree. In so full knowledge. Agree. Okay, I think I think I think time is up. So we're going to do it this oh. way. Yeah, and yeah, sure. I this think time is up. This one make it longer. Make this interview a bit longer. <laughs> if you cut it here, uh-huh. it's going to hang and it's not going to make sense. <laughs> <laughs> this one give it 30 minutes. Don't give it, it 21. Like, no, no, I'm not giving you 29 like minutes. Uh-huh. No, no. Okay. So let's do it do it this way, I mean, I'm sorry. Let's start from this side or rather this side. Your opinion per person. What do you think? Was it right? Was it wrong? Was and then next, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll let... Yeah, 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 sure. So next time, you know, we can do more of it. If you really want this to happen. Like it. Yeah, 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 but B must come because up because now. Because I also need to go and dig on that case <laughs> and understand yeah, why. Uh-huh. But you just have to understand the law yeah, sure. yeah. for you to make informed decisions on this. And this was not someone that has been practicing the law. Yeah, and the law comes And it is that. I've always considered the law as a foolish thing anyway. As since it's very foolish, I agree. Mm-hmm. Let's start from this side. Okay. Well, well. Um, or I've started from this side a lot. Let me start actually, from this side. Be fair. Okay. Be <laughs> fair. Uh, equality. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so um, I think my, my, my side has li- literally been clear the whole time. I don't think it has been. You said you have to understand the law first. Remember, whose case was a judge. You don't become a judge after practicing law for two years. Mm-hmm. So they understand the law inside out. Two. The law is very faulty and unfair. And I'll give you a very valid example. Well unfair. You know, I'll give a very good example to say it's unfair and it's not, it's broken, you know. You will compromise then. You know, I'm not compromising. <laughs> You'll think I'm compromising, but I'm not going to say it's unfair. Okay. You know why? Because this case would have fallen on anyone. You know? True. This case would have fallen on a mother that has raised 
a man's kid from since they were three months old after the mother left or passed on mm -hmm. and the case the court, me the court decides you need to still mother that child you know mm -hmm. they need the mother you know so if we say the law is uh, perfect in that this is a father this is a mother so if you're not biologically tied you're not going you know right now i don't know if that clause was changed but the last time i was doing such things with law if a 17 year old boy had sex with a 16 year old boy who is going to jail what no the boy oh. he slept with a minor how broken is that system they're both minor in this case. they're both minors but the, the boy is going to go to get nini to jail for because that is what the law states if a Finish man law. gets raped today conventionally by a woman, it would be both of them but it's the boy who goes today because it's a case i have it's not just one case it's like a few cases i have sat through in court being part of the reproductive health and whatever whatever system and you realize boys will go to jail even at 17 for sleeping with a 15 year old girl you very know? unfair very I, thought, unfair. I thought it would be 18. higher if you as a man get raped today by a woman and decide to report and take that to court you know the court says rape is forced sexual penetration can a woman penetrate you <laughs> <laughs> they can't so imagine who's going to lose that case we were given the wrong definition of rape the man you know it is just forced <laughs> sexual whatever that is supposed to be rape you know? without consent actually exactly but the, the so law that... leans towards the fact that it's the it's Penish. only the man who can penetrate so when i say the law is broken yes it is very broken so if we rely on the law in everything saying that now i can't but i think the the, 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 the law, let's think of it this way before you cut me short you are raped who is going to suffer that mental breakdown the Victor. man yeah, yeah. right yeah but the law decides a, a woman can't penetrate you but so if we're going to think that the law is right in every situation or wrong then let's leave the law out of this let's come down to us as human beings you know even today if you are dating someone and they walk out of your life three years later without explanation it leaves you disoriented broken heart you become like i don't know you just disoriented because your mental health will go down the drain you know you're an adult at that point so imagine a kid it's not even matters relationship love or anything parenting you know i have loved you i have cared for you but now that your mother and i are not agreeing anymore you're going to pay for the results of a responsibility I undertook knowingly. No, it's not fair for the kid if the judge will have ruled that the man stops taking care of him. But no, it's fair for the kid, you know, because the kid is the question here. It's not about how much will the mother get out of this or how much will the dad lose out of this. It's about we had this kid together, you know. He was here when, I was here when the kid was being born. We brought him up together. So if I want to drop this kid, if I was to rule that, maybe take care of his expenses and everything that have been stated there up until he's an adult. From there, now we can sit at an adult table. Good, 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 good. But okay. abandoning that kid, no. Yes, Marcy. Okay, me, I still say it's unfair because it takes a step of faith for one to decide to take care of a kid you did not sire and. You can assume you can have that family relationship with a kid only if the law states that but it's by law and then a mother also has to understand that things change then people also do change and uh, they just have to brace themselves for whatever comes so if such a scenario happens then i guess it's either the mother is should decide to take off the kid or rather trace down the man, the biological one, that is if they are alive. So it's not that right for him to now go, go through that bad experience of having to take care of that kid, knowing in mind he did not sire the kid and he was just doing it out of goodwill from the start. I, I know maybe there's this instance where he gave maybe the kid a surname and stuff and uh, where in this Kenyan law, the registration registration of birth and uh, death act don't ad it's just silent of that. It's only it only provides for kids under two years who can alter the name and stuff. But it's just not totally okay. Take for instance in uh, South Africa, where if the 
the parents fall out and uh, the non-biological father doesn't want his name on the kid's birth certificate, they can revoke that. They can do a DNA test. The court can order the name person is not the biological father. Rather, then they can give the name of the biological father and other evidences on that. So I guess they should just be fair on them. Just let them be them and uh, do what they want. If they are willing to take care of them well and good, if, if they're not willing, then it's totally okay. Even if there's that mental torture to the kid, it's also a mental torture to them. And uh, then the mother has to like just accept this and uh, take the kid through this and make them understand it's not their father. And uh, they have to live with that and put in mind they're not their father and not sue them. Just find other means of taking care of the kid because there will be more wrangles involved in this. Maybe there will be wrangles here and there, you're taking care of kid who is not here. Maybe you can, you can even decide to harm the kid or rather kill the kid because he's being put through some pressure that is not supposed to be put through. You get it? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Thank so you so much. So it's still unfair. Uh -huh. I think the, this particular discussion, I'm very much afraid of its ramifications. What, 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 what are men out there who are taking care of children that are not there? So what, what are they thinking after they see this? What are they thinking? What are they thinking? Because they'll be worried. This is a warning, a, a very little warning to men out there who are taking <laughs> care of children that are not theirs. No, no, who are no, taking no, no, care? No, no. Clear, to, no. Yeah, that is your opinion. Yeah. Because, no. because, 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 because really men are seeing this one. Men are seeing this one happening, yeah. and this one might be might be them. This one might be them next. People are of bad yeah. mind. And, yeah. uh, you can't be influenced people, by what others yeah. say. People, people who are kind. So, if it it ever happens that they disagree with the mothers to these children, the mothers the mothers also have seen this one. They, so they'll rush to court. So we are yeah. going to presume that they are comfortable because we have not seen them gone to the streets. Yeah, we, we are. Pre <laughs> this case, they are also comfortable. Give this guy his time. They, 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 they are also comfortable. Everybody should so, give him his time. Yeah, yeah sure. so, so I'm very much worried about the consequences of this ruling. This, this ruling might slide. We might argue, yeah, this one is right, this one is wrong. But the ramifications of whatever is happening. Yeah. What, what are men outside there thinking? And this one is also uh, this one also poses a problem because some of these men used to accept women with the, with their children. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, w do you think m men will continue accepting women with children? Yes, sir. Do you think that is possible? Yes, and uh, w what will happen to those women without with children? What happens to them? Because they need husbands. They need husbands. <laughs> You don't realize you don't need a man to survive, you don't need a woman to survive. You don't need, but you, you, you don't, don't need. You don't need a woman to survive either. You don't yeah, you don't that. need a woman. Please All these things are wants. You. No, no. Can you no, finish no, your no, part no, so no, we no. give Belfast his part? No, it's not a finish part. It's the me wanting a man right. and me wanting a woman. <laughs> 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 Their needs. Okay. Uh, regardless of whatever the father and the mother wants. Regardless of what the father and the mother wants, the father needs a child. The, the, the child needs a father. Exactly. A father. Uh -huh. Yeah. So whatever is whatever is tampering with the fatherhood is tampering with the child. Yeah. So anything that that, that interferes with, with with that harmony, that symphony that is there, that is causing chaos. And trust me when this when when a society is chaotic at family level, the whole thing will collapse. Yeah. So this ruling will cause chaos. That is my point. This ruling will cause chaos at family level. At family level we'll, we are moving to society. The society are moving to the whole country so that we are having a chaotic country because of a single ruling. A single, single ruling. But it's not the first. Yeah. That is just, that is what uh, linguistics will call, will call a stroke of fate. Just <laughs> one stroke and changes everything. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, uh, thank you once again. Here we have a, a full house. A house will have a foundation, the walls, you know, and maybe the roof. But here we are dealing with a rotten roof already, a faulty roof. Uh, but you see we have a very strong foundation and it is from the foundation, the strong foundation that we get um, the origin of the basics of marriage and what a family is, which is a group of uh, members. A family has been described as a group of or as an institution that composes father, mother and children, children right? Mm -hmm. Without necessarily having to uh, 
dispense of uh, other children that come into a man's life, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, when a man meets a woman, and uh, well, they say children, and uh, from nowhere, another baby appears who does not belong to the father, to the man. I don't want to use the father. <laughs> if 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 we realize that this man takes care of this child, this other child, mm-hmm. is capable. Yes. The man is capable of taking care if of. If we realize that that happens, then he becomes the father. So the court going or taking the step of, I don't like the word forcing. Coercing. Um, no. If the court, if, if the court took that step, I think I am in for that. The man took consent, right? Yeah. Well, the man was not present during the conception of the child, but he took consent. consent. Uh, and if it's but, documented. Yes. Yeah. Law is law. I think law is everywhere. Um, if you read, um, there is this book by a documentary by a woman called Mary James, um, Canadian, right? So this Canada law. If, 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 if a man is, I mean, if a man takes consent of a, of a conception. Right, where their sperms is not used, that child will uh, basically become theirs. And I'm arguing from that point, right? Yes. So the man is not supposed to run away. So the court taking the decision or the step of having the man take care of everybody and everything is right. Okay. Fair enough. We and the thing that you should remember is, is uh-huh. this man is not even being forced to take responsibility of a kid that is not his because there's a bad child. And the court has cleared him of any responsibility whatsoever. You know, so you raise these two as your kids, and there's a bad one that has come. And we are not telling you to take care of this one because you are the husband to their mother. No, just raise this, continue raising these ones that you've raised since they were born. Anyway, it's okay. I know this is a discussion that will not end now. It has been very difficult. Uh, thank you so much viewers for tuning in. You can give us your opinion in the comment section below um, Do you think it's in order to force a man to raise a kid that he didn't father biologically? Thank you so much for tuning in. I am your host Spencer Brandy. Until next time, goodbye